Hi, I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a cross stitch supplies haul video. Um, I have always liked cross stitch but for, I haven't done it for a very long time and then at Christmas time in 2021 um, I did put on my wish list that I wanted to get a Christmas stocking cross stitch and my fiance did get that for me and I've been working on that all year um, so far and then I've just decided that I've seen some stuff on Etsy that I really like patterns so I decided let's do it so first off I will start with the patterns I've recently bought off of Etsy they are printable patterns so they're all digital the first one um the first three patterns actually come as a set i think you can uh buy them individually but i bought the set because i wanted all three and the first one i have is um the tyrannosaurus skeleton that just looks like this i love this as soon as i saw this i knew i had to buy this straight away i love <laughs> dinosaurs and like the skeletons and all sorts of stuff so I had to. Uh, the next one in that set is the Velociraptor skeleton which just looks like this and then the last one in that set is a Stegosaurus skeleton which looks like this and I love these. I think these are so cute and I had to have them when I saw them. I knew that I wanted them and I had them sitting in my cart for a while because I wanted to pick out the perfect fabric for it, all that type of stuff. And then I finally bought them. Um, I just realized when I printed them off, the name of the store is not on there. I, when I edit this video, I'll put the name of the store um, for the dinosaur skeletons, but I'll also put the links for their Etsy stores in the description box down below if you're interested. Um, and just so you know as well, I purchase everything with my own money. I never get anything for free from any of these places. They don't even know who I am. Um, but just so you know. And then the next pattern I got, I only bought four patterns. Um, this one is from a company called Stitchrovia. Uh, I think both of these companies might possibly be Ukrainian. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure this one is Ukrainian. I can't remember. Um, so this one, um, I'm just reading what it says. Oh, maybe the second one might not be Ukrainian. No, actually, sorry. I'm pretty sure the first one, which of the skeletons is Ukrainian. This one um, is from the UK. Uh, so this one is called A Little Magic. And this is uh, being designed for um, like a navy fabric, which I do have as well. But it's a Halloween one and I love this. And this is what it looks like here. Hopefully you can see that. But when I saw that, I knew that that was something I wanted um, to do for my office. Um, so I bought the pattern for that as well. And then I will show you the supplies that I've bought for all of this. So I bought um, this black even weave, I believe it's called, uh, fabric off of Etsy. Um, but after I received the fabric, I did receive a little card in the package saying that they do have their own website as well they're based um here in queensland actually in australia i think it's called something country but i think it's literally called something country um i can't remember but like i said i'll leave all the names on the screen and in the description box but this is here the fabric i bought this is beautiful um fabric it is black fabric um this is really really pretty i've never used even weave before so we'll see how I go with this because even though I have done cross stitch my entire life it's always been just on just you know your normal ADA that you get um but and I've never used anything like this now I did 
buy this for the skeletons, the dinosaur skeletons. Now, this is not going to be enough for all three patterns, but I figured it'll take me a while to get through all three. So I just bought one lot um, of even weave fabric. This one was $25. So it's not like cheap to buy. Um, let me fold this back up. So a cross stitch fabric, yeah, like I said, is not um, cheap to buy because it's a higher quality fabric. Even like your normal like Ada can be quite expensive as well. Um, but yeah, it was $25 for that. And then this pattern here, the Halloween one, I think was about $10. And the dinosaur pattern set was I believe about $15 off the top of my head <coughs> um and then I bought the threads and stuff from um Spotlight here in Australia but I also bought uh this navy blue ada I don't know how to pronounce the brand but that's the brand there this is already pre-cut and just get it out. This is just a 14 count um, Ada because the pattern um, the uh, I'm totally blanking here. The Halloween pattern that I'm going to do has a um, size chart for 14 count, 16 count and 18 count Ada. I just picked the 14 count because that's the only one I could find in a navy blue uh, fabric so I got this one uh, this was originally I think $23 um, at Spotlight it was about $20, $23, or something like that I did have a 30% off one full price item coupon so I used that on this and it brought it down to like I think $16 um, so that was a pretty good deal I think but that's the navy blue Ada and I cannot wait to get started on this. This is going to look so good. Now I don't have an embroidery hoop. I need to buy some embroidery hoops. I really do. I don't have them. I feel like embroidery hoops do make cross stitch easier. I just, I just don't have them. Um, I also purchased the 100 cardboard floss cards to keep your thread on because I didn't have any and I was literally just making my own out of cardstock um but I have these now there's a hundred of them so I got those from Spotlight as well I think they were about four dollars fifty for a pack of a hundred so it's not too bad I guess and then I bought all of these so these are DMC threads both the dinosaur and the Halloween one called for DMC threads um so I ordered all of the colors I would need um so let me quickly go through these with you I don't know the color names there are color names for all of these but I don't have the chart with me right now so I'm just going to tell you the color number um, so I got this one. This one is color 780. It is like a dark sort of, not a dark dark brown, but like a brown. So there's that one. Um, this one I'm pretty sure is for one of the dinosaur patterns. I have this brown, which is 3,826, which is actually very similar to this one. This one's just a little bit orange if I compare the two so there's that one and I forgot to say these were on sale for 99 cents each I believe they're normally like a dollar fifty or a dollar sixty or something like that but they were on sale for 99 cents each so I was excited to get them for that price um so like I said this is color 3826 I'm pretty sure this one is also no actually this one is for the Halloween one so I'll pop that aside I'm going to start this Halloween after I do this video. Um, I have this brown one, which is color 782, which is this one. Uh, this one is for one of the 
dinosaurs. I have this one, which is color 783, which is, it's a brown still, but it's turning more of like that yellow brown, which is this one. So 783 is also for the dinosaurs. Um, I have this kind of orangey yellow color, which is 742. It's kind of like that very sort of bright orangey yellow almost. Uh, so 742 is for the Halloween pattern. I have this like peachy sort of orange color, which is 3854, which is just this one. Um, this one is for the Halloween pattern. I have this very bright orange, which is 740, which is for Halloween, obviously, because it's bright orange. I have this orange color, which is 3,853. It's more of like a brownie orange. This one is for the Halloween pattern as well. Um, I have this yellow color. This is what I consider like a buttercup yellow. This is color 743. Really pretty yellow. That is for the Halloween pattern. I have this color, which is kind of like a khaki color. It is 834. Um, this one is for the dinosaur pattern. I have this sort of greeny color. This one is in color 165 which is this one. This one is for the Halloween pattern. I have another green that's kind of like that olive sort of green. It is color 581. And that one is for the dinosaur pattern. I have this color, which is definitely an olive green. It's 580, which just looks like this. Um, this one is for the dinosaur pattern. I have this really bright green, which is in color 907. And that is for the dinosaurs. I have kind of almost like a foresty sort of green. This one is in the color 904. That's for the dinosaur pattern. Um, I have this sort of deep green color, which is 987. This one is also for the dinosaurs. Another sort of like deepy sadu kind of green color, which is 367, which is this color. Um, that one is also for the dinosaurs. Hopefully it's not too bright and you can see these colors. <laughs> I have this kind of like rainforesty, like bright green, which is 905. And that's also for the dinosaurs. I've got the color charts here, so I'm looking like the color charts for each pattern so I can see. Um, I've got this very bright sort of limey colored green almost. This one is in color 166. That is for the Halloween pattern. Another sort of paler limey colored green in color 3819. And this one is for the dinosaur pattern. Um, this very pale sort of green. I don't know what kind of green you'd call this, but it's in color 3348. Um, that one is also for the dinosaurs. Uh, you've kind of got this very beautiful sort of minty green, which is in color 369. That's very pale sort of minty color. Uh, that one is also for the dinosaurs. 
You've got color 368. It's kind of like a sage green. That one's also for the dinosaurs. You've kind of got this green. I don't know what type of green you'd call this, but it's very pretty. It's not exactly sage because it's got more blue tones to it, but it's color 320. That one is also for the dinosaurs. <laughs> Uh, you've got this grey colour. It's kind of got like a, a green tone to it. This one is colour 3022. It just looks like this. Um, this one is also for the dinosaur pattern. You have this sort of grey colour which is in colour 3024. That one's for the dinosaurs. I think that's part of their skeleton, that one. You've got this kind of beigey colour, which is in colour 644, which just looks like that. This one is in the Halloween, yeah, Halloween pattern. Now, some of the colours that are in the Halloween um, colour chart are also going to be in the, the dinosaurs one, but I'm doing the Halloween one first, so that's how I'm kind of sorting them. Um, this beige colour is in the colour 3782, it just looks like that. This one is Halloween. Uh, this colour, which is kind of like a off-cream sort of colour, which is in colour 822, looks like that. That one is in the Halloween one. We have two of the blank ones, which are just white. Those are in the dinosaur one. I have color B5200, what is it? Yeah, B5200, which is also a white. That's in the dinosaurs. And, um, they are very slightly different, but to be really honest with you, they look the same if you don't actually look closely. So, yeah. <laughs> um, the next one I have is this really pretty pale sort of lavender purple in the colour 3743. Really pretty. So that one I'm pretty sure is in the dinosaur one. Yes, it is. Um, you've got this one, which is in the colour 3042. It's a purpley colour as well. That one's in the dinosaur one. I have this darker purple, which is in the colour 3041. That's also dinosaurs. It's really pretty bright sort of purple, like a pastel purple. Is in the color 153. This one is in Halloween. Um, this purple uh, is in the color 3836, which is also in Halloween. It's like a darker purple. This one's kind of like a more plum purple. Um, it's in the colorway 3835 which is the Halloween one. I have this kind of fuchsia pink colour, which is in the colour 917. That one is a part of the dinosaur one. I have this fuchsia sort of colour in the colourway 718, which just looks like this. That one is also dinosaurs. I have the colour black, which is 310, which is Halloween. And then the very last one I have is in the colour 3607, which just looks like this. And that one is in the dinosaurs colourway. So that is all of the DMC um, threads that I've got. So. This pile is dinosaurs, this pile is Halloween. Some of these colours will go um, for the dinosaurs as well, but I just ordered one of each colour, 
there may be some colors I might need another one of but I figured if I just start off with one of each it'll be fine I can get more if I need more um, type of situation so that is everything you guys that I bought for my recent cross stitch projects that I have planned out for so yeah so anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>